Okay, let's do motion tracking on Adobe Premiere Elements 12. The effect I want to create is I want to label this building as hotel and I want the text to follow this building as it moves across the screen from left to right. First, select this clip by clicking on it, then bring the playhead to the beginning of the clip. The easiest way to do that is to click on this icon to bring the playhead exactly to the beginning of this clip. Then we go to the Tools tab, Inside Action Bar, click on the Tools tab, scroll down the list of tools till you see Motion Tracking. Click on Motion Tracking. I want to track this slim building here and call it Hotel. Click on Select Object. You will see a rectangle with four circles at the corners. Use the circles to around the hotel okay now let's make it a little bit smaller I'll just choose the windows here windows of the hotel all right then click track object it's calculating now tracking object there, it turns into a yellow box. To ensure it's correct, let's play back and see if the yellow box follows the window of the hotel. So now let's bring the play hit back to the beginning again by clicking on this icon because the next thing is to attach a graphic or text from the action bar below. So what they're saying is Go to the action bar and select the graphics tab. Click on it. Under the graphics tab, you see lots of graphics, some animated, some stills. What we want is a label. By the way, if you see a blue ribbon on the top right corner, that means you have to download it. Right? So you need to be connected to the internet to download this effect. I've already downloaded this speech bubble number 9. So what I'm going to do is to drag and drop it over this yellow box. It's asking me to input a text. I want to call it hotel. Click OK. There. A nice speech bubble called hotel. Actually, I don't like the look of this speech bubble. I will show you how to modify the speech bubble to make it look more professional in the later part of this video. For now, let's put it here and say done. So let's play back and see how it looks like. Yes, it's following my building. The word hotel is following my building nicely. Great. So if you notice on your timeline, you got a new clip here called the speech bubble number 9. It's actually a text clip that's automatically created when you make this speech bubble here. So now if you're happy with this, it's done. But I am not happy. I want to make this look more professional instead of a silly speech bubble. Let's double click on this new clip here. If you notice, it takes me straight into the text adjustment panel. So it's actually a text clip. So first thing I'll change is the text itself. I don't like this font. Let's make it look more professional, like a plain old Arial. Okay, Arial bolded. And Let's change it to, I want it to be solid, white, right? The drop shadow shall remain. Let's make this drop heavier. Let's change this to 10. Okay, so I'm happy. Click OK. Now, earlier on I said I hate this speech bubble. Go to this arrow here at the bottom of this text adjustment panel. Click on the arrow. Click on the speech bubble. And then on your keyboard, select delete. There you go, the speech bubble is gone. But then 
I still want to have a little background behind this word hotel. So let me add in some shapes here. Okay, a square shape. Let's draw a square shape over this word hotel. Now it's covering it. Right click on the square shape. Let's arrange it and send it backward. There. I can see my word now. The word is in front of this rectangle shape. Let's make this rectangle slightly wider and shorter. Now I want to make this white rectangle translucent. Right click on it and select transform. Opacity. Let's make it 50% translucent. Okay. Right. Now it looks better. So early on, the speech bubble has got a little extension, a uh, narrow thread coming up. That's like a pointer. I shall use this line over here to create that pointer. Right. Oops. Undo. Select the line. Let's draw that pointer up here. Now it looks better than a speech bubble. Okay, once done, just play back from the timeline. Bring the play hit to the beginning once more and press play. There you go. Motion tracking done professionally on Adobe Premiere Elements 12.